Hello. Today, we're going to learn how to use the Spiraletti. Here is the Spiraletti. It comes with three kinds of blades. The thin spiral, the ribbon cut, and the thick spiral. Okay, you can see that it comes in two pieces. This piece just slides right out and we just rinse it as is in the sink and we just slide it in. And then when this is out, we take this one. I usually take these out when I'm preparing other food. And then we take this whole entire thing and we just put it in the sink and rinse it off. And that's the whole entire thing. Now, we're gonna stick this thing back in here. We're gonna turn it around this way because my plate is over there. We suction it to the, to the counter. I said I was gonna use the thick spiral blade. We just drop it in. Now we okay. have our zucchini. Oh, wrong knife. We're going to take a knife and we got to make the ends flat. So we cut off one here and then we cut this thing off too. Well, it's going to be a little tough with one hand. So we take our zucchini. All right, we push our thing back like that. We stick the center right in that hole. Then we shove this thing into the back, right? Just like that. So here's what you got. Okay, then since it's already suction cup to the counter, you have this little thing that pushes. So you just turn like so. You can just push on the handle. See how I'm turning the handle and I'm just pushing. One handed job and watch what's coming out of the other end. Oh, look at that. One handed. It's just turning around. And I got one hand on the camera, one hand on the phone. Here we are again. Almost to the end. Look at this beauty. Coming out over here into the plate. Now, when you get to the end, you just have to be careful that you don't rip the teeth on the metal so all of a sudden you feel it okay then we stop we get this weird looking thing here but we just throw that in there okay and look what we have we have beautiful zucchini everywhere and these beautiful slices beautiful spirals now we wash pull that guy out take it into the sink Rinse it off. Oops. Get that little piece right there. Do not cut yourself if I have done that and it hurts. Okay, so see how I'm getting that out? Let me get that guy out. Get out. I can't get it out with, with one hand. But you can get that little thing out. Get out. Alright, done. If you want, you can rinse it with like a little uh, brush, with a little uh, scrub brush, and then you put it into your dish rack. Then we come back over here, take this thing out, look at that. Rinse it off, look, no washing involved. Finish. You don't have to worry about anything, there's no metal or any air. Done. Then you take this thing. Lift it off the counter. Look at that. Oops, it's got stuck on the counter. Oops. Get off. Bring it over to the sink. Look, I'm doing all this with one hand. I'm rinsing it off. There's really nothing on there. All right, rinsing. Oops, there's a little thing right there. Done. Take it. Throw it in your dish rack. You're finished. Done. Now what we have left over here is this beautiful plate of zucchini. I'm going to 
fry up some oil in here. Put it in there in just Oops. a moment. I almost forgot I was going to do some uh, onion. So I'm going to take this smaller one. I just put took it right out of the sink. Put it back over here. Now I already started this, so I'm just going to stick it right back in the hole there. See what I did there? I just stuck it in the hole. And then, you know, on the, on the onion, I had to cut off a little bit to make it flat. And now, stuck to the counter, I just take it. Now watch what's going to come out of here. I'm going to turn my onion. Onion's a little trickier. You're supposed to do it with two hands. But watch what I'm doing. I'm doing it with one hand, just turning the handle. And watch what's coming out of here. Beautiful. I gotta have a little bit more pressure. Let me get a little I bit. I needed onion. a little bit more. I needed two hands, but look at that. Look what we have here. Beautiful, thin onions right there. Okay, let's take them right out of here. All right. All right, and then we're gonna take this onion here, right out of there. Put it right back into my bag here for the next time. There's a little thing, you stick it in the hole. And once again, I lift out the blade. I rinse it off. Rinse, rinse, rinse. You can use a little soap to get a little bit of that stuff off. You know, whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to leave it in there because I might wash it. Take this guy here. Rinse that off. If you want, you can use the soap. Throw it in the dish rack. This thing comes off the counter again. It's a little, a little tricky. Throwing it in the sink. Rinsing it off like so. Throw it in the dish rack. Done. Come back over to the area. Put throw these in here. And look at this beautiful, like a slaw, that I'm going to put into the pan. And in one so moment. Now, <clears throat> we have some oil in the pan with a little spice in it. That's nice and hot. And we just take our plate of goodness and put it in to the pot. Okay, we get ourselves a... Uh... Oh. One moment, please. There we, go. we get ourselves some spatulas. And we just toss it around like so. Tossing and tossing. Just like that. Making sure all the zucchini stays in the pot. Oh, dog's barking. One moment, and we're back. So now you've got all this beautiful um, zucchini and onion sauteing in the pan very nicely. And then you can put in maybe a little roasted garlic powder. I like to put in sea salt, like pretzel salt, kosher, ooh, that was a lot of salt, didn't mean to put that much in. And then you can just go ahead and I like to toss it a lot. Sometimes I give this little thing to the dog. They like that. So you're tossing and turning, sorry if I keep moving the camera. Okay. You're basically doing that for a little while. So now, we've been tossing for about 10 minutes. And you can see that it looks very pasturish. Okay, and the onions have sauteed. And the one good thing about sauteing the onions and the zucchini together is that it keeps the pan moist. When I cook the zucchini without the onion, the, the pot can tends to get dry, and then the zucchini sticks to the pot. So this is a very nice little mixture right here. Okay, just tossing it around. 
you let it sit, you push it around, let it sit for a little bit, and you come back in a few minutes. So now it's just about ready. And the other night I made some chicken tenders. So you can just heat them up. Put in about three of them. And you could just sort of see if they heat up in there. Mix, toss them in with the uh, with the zucchini. They're all cooked already. Okay, pile it on top so they get warm and tasty. Let it sit for a couple of minutes like that. And now that they're warming up, I'm just going to remove the zucchini pasta, put it in this nice bowl, and maybe heat the chicken for a few more minutes so that it gets nice and warm. See, remember that little piece? Even that piece got nice and cooked. And I don't even know what happened. Oh, maybe, maybe this is that long thing. So I'm taking out all the zucchini. Leaving this in here. And there you have it. A beautiful mound of zucchini pasta with onion. And then our chicken's going to go here. And we're done. And here we are. Our finished product of zucchini and chicken. And even the dogs are going to love it. If they get to eat it. So thank you for watching my cooking demonstration of the vegetti. Good night. Bon appetit. Mmm. Just like real pasta. Delicious.